What do you think, buddy? So right now I'm just finding uh, plumb from this beam, uh, the center of the beam. So we're adding one more ply, that's why I have the nail there. And I've just uh, run the chalk line, plumb line down to find the center. And uh, that will allow me to mark out where my four foot by four foot footing is going right here. And then basically rinse and repeat over on this side. Um, snap them out with chalk lines and then uh, cut them out with the saw. So now I have everything broken up, went pretty well. Luckily the slab's nice and thin here for this part of it anyway. And then eventually we are pouring a new slab over everything, including new footing. But let's go ahead and get this dug down now to 12 inches, which is the depth of the footing that's required. That's it. So that's 12 inches deep and Careful not to um, stir up the bottom because it needs, the footing needs to sit on like undisturbed soil. So there it is. Now it's time for some rebar. Mm. Rebar. So I got the first hole done here with the rebar in it. That was pretty easy. That's 10 M rebar on eight inch centers. So yeah, it's all basically that particular one is ready for inspection. Oh, that looks a lot like a building permit. tipped over. Taking that way and chance. Taking back roof off and the back walls and we've got ourselves a demoed house. Okay, whenever you're ready. That's it. That is all the demolition now based on our plans. This was a total of two days. Still have a little cleanup 
to do here. Not too bad, we've taken most of it away. Sorry about the wind. So, I'm gonna just uh, run and grab my nail gun and we're gonna brace these, uh, these walls just so they don't blow around too much. And uh, yep, this is, uh, this is it. Tomorrow's rain, so who knows? But here we are. Now, the fun part, we get to build. So we're just waiting for the excavator to get here to dig these footing holes. Some had to be dug by hand, do the gas line. That's was, fun. Was we're not talking about that gas line. There ain't no gas line. It's a ghost. Wireless. Yeah. Ghost line, gas line, wireless gas line. And we're stacking up the lumber in here. So um, I've completed most of the repair on this back pony wall. And now it's just time to get the joists in and get them all straightened out. And then I can start putting a uh, new floor deck down on here and the new walls. We get some deep frost here. So you see, we're about five feet deep or greater on these. Rebar's in there. Mm, rebar. Covered up, ready for pour. So just backfilling the last of the three rear tubes, 12 inch tubes, the rebar's in there. And uh, it's supposed to possibly get rain tomorrow, so we've wrapped them with shrink wrap, or uh, stretch wrap, just to keep the rain out. Sweet. Ready for inspection, all of the footings. Oh. Let me show you. It's kind of a long day because we did all this by hand because I'm too cheap to get a piece of equipment. There's the front two. And they're placed as per our plan, of course. And then the other front one. Nice. 